What is up ladies and gents, today we are going to go over fishing once again. Today's focus will be bait and where to get it and why it's important. There are five types of bait that are currently in the game. There are small worms, cheap compound bait, special cut piece, meat chop piece, and a small fish meal lump. All of these baits help catch specific fish in my opinion. This is just a theory based off of literal real life fishing. The bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. Y'all know I'm not a fan of in-game fishing, but it needs to be done to teach everyone. With that said, at the beginning of the game, you can purchase small worms in bulk for gold at the fishing merchant. It is the easiest bait to attain, but it's also the bait that probably nets you the smallest fish. You can catch Alfonsino's, the regional trophy shoe with it, in case you were wondering if regional boxes can still be achieved with it. But the real catch here is catching large fish. Regional trophies are great, but the competition gets you the needed materials for ancient weapon crafting. Moving on now, cheap compound bait is created through the alchemy station. You don't need a high level alchemy to start right away. You just need Lumios root, which is in the open world as a plant and leather scrap, which comes from mobs. Combine them and you receive cheap compound bait. Now, the special cut piece, which is one of my favorites, uh, is, this piece is crafted with stringy meat. I've caught a lot of good fish with it and most people make the mistake and buy stringy meat at the marketplace. This piece is crafted with stringy meat. I've caught a lot of good fish with it and most people make the mistake and buy special cut piece, the crafted finished product for a heap of star seeds at the marketplace, but you can literally buy stringy meat for gold and craft it yourself. Don't waste seeds buying stringy meat for 100 a piece or 200 a piece because you can spend around 2,500 gold for a 100 stack. Craft this special cut piece at the Soul Pyre and add it into your inventory. Now, the next two pieces are much more difficult to obtain and are solely based on RNG and patience. You need to hire a blue grocer and put it to work using the materials needed. Some grocers need harvested fruit and butchered meat. These are all estate materials. You can purchase these materials at the estate shop. Butchered meat can be farmed through animal tames, boars for example, which are a good choice, and harvested fruit can be gained through estate workers in the orchard, giving the orchard a purpose besides timber. So there you have it. That's all you need to know about the five baits and where to get them. Save the juicy bait for the trophies or fishing competitions. My guess is they pull the biggest fish. I'll get started and I'll let you know my luck using the meat chops and special meat lumps which are crafted from the estate to see if it's actually worth it. Tomorrow's my birthday, fellas. So if you want to show me some love, feel free to donate through the Streamlabs and give me a nice donation if you appreciate what I do. Thanks again for everything. And honestly, I feel blessed every day having people actually come down to watch every day the content that I provide despite what game I play. You guys literally make my day every day seeing those views, the comments, and the support. Never in a million years did I think I could do YouTube as a hobby. But here we are. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or in Basin getting spanked by the new update. But regardless, have a good day, everyone, and stay blessed.